Hey guys, I've got another picture book uh, today uh, called Math for All Seasons. And um, all I need for this lesson is uh, this book, which you of course get at the library, um, and then something from outside. It's fall right now, and so we just picked some leaves. Uh, there's some sticks on the ground, and so I just grabbed them. Um, you can also in fall, there are seeds, grab those. Um, and then in all different seasons, you're going to be finding different things out in nature and just get a collection of a different, uh, just some different things from outside. Um, anything, as long as they're kind of similar. So these are off of one tree, this is off of another tree, and these are on the ground. So how I do this is I read this book and um, what they are is basically... Um, uh, skip counting. So it's going to have a riddle and then and then they're going to find the pattern in each page to say, okay, so these are similar, these are similar, and these are all similar, and these are all similar. And so I can go two, three, four, five. So five, ten, fifteen. And that's just the whole book is full of different um, ways to group them to skip count them uh, a little bit faster and easier. So we read them and they figure them out and you can spend um, as much time with this book as the age allows for, depending on the age that you're, uh, that you're working with. Um, they'll, they'll do these. And then after we're done with the book, what I like to do is um, take the things that you got out from nature. Maybe it's something you were even doing on a nature walk and you just, you found them at that time. Um, you make your own patterns. And the child makes their own patterns that you can guess. Uh, so you can go back and forth either way. So maybe you do, um, you know, you just make two here, the one here, and maybe three sticks here. And just like in the book, you just kind of lay them out in different ways, make a set of them. And then they would go, ah, oh, that's it, I see it. It's 5, 10, 15. Or maybe you make it into groups of five or um, being able to count by twos, however you do it. And I would take turns with your child. So um, have them make a pattern that you guess and then you make a pattern that they guess or following the lead of the child's interest in uh, how you want to do that. But it's really fun. It's especially easy to do when you're um, already out doing a nature walk uh, and to be able to use that to uh, incorporate and learn how to do some uh, skip counting in a, a really fun way. Um, I always use picture books, as you've seen in my other videos, um, to teach math because it's not intimidating, it is fun, it's engaging, and it teaches uh, children that there are real life uh, ways to use math um, in their real lives uh, and that it's not something that can be scary. So it's a great way to introduce math to children, um, which I'm a huge fan of. So uh, that's, that's that and I hope you have um, a good time with this one in any season. All right, enjoy.